Welcome to Bad Food Vlog, and today what are we making? Mini, Mini hot dogs. dogs! We're using this bread here, don't shake it, it is, we're using this bread mix and we've already got this bread mix proving. This is cheddar and sun-dried tomato bread mix. And then we're going to put, for the hot dogs, we're going to use mini little sausages, which taste kind of like hot dogs, because they're not really like mini sausages, but they're mini cocktail sausages. So what we're making is a kind of canapé. We're going to make tiny hot dogs. That's basically hot dogs, tiny, tiny hot dogs, but we're going to cook yeah. the... Are we going to cook the bread round the hot dog? No, we're just going to make get, really tiny no, so, we're, hot we're dog rolls. No, we're just going to get the hot dog and cut cut like a hot dog shape out of it, and then and then make like bite-sized hot dogs. So what we need to make is lots of mini bread rolls, right? Yeah, about I don't know that big. So we need these here for reference. We need Actually, these here for we, reference. Th this is a five-pound hot dog and two. That's and we need these. And we need these work. to put the little mini hot dogs on when we make them. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. I'm going to need flour and the bread dough. Now the bread dough has been mixed by my bread maker and is in the rising phase and it's rising quite well actually. Can I touch it? Yeah. Sounds like no dough on my finger. Yep, that's Wait, what it's like. So what do we do? Do we just smush it? No, no, I need to turn. I need to make it into long, long strips, and then we need to cut those up, and then put those little long, put those little long strips on here. But they need to be half the size they're going to be, because they're okay. going to double in size. First of all, let's get a hot dog bun. Let's get a hot dog, and let's make, and let's make the bun. I don't know Tiny, this. And then Can you wash that up first? That one's not washed up. I don't uh, know how to wash anything up. Yes, you do. You go to the sink. And just pour. Put warm water on it. Get this. Warm? Yeah. Put it in. Get the brush and scrub it with a little bit of that on, okay? Like this? Yeah, and I'll get this doing in the meantime. Oh, this needs cleaning. That's it. You got it. And you know, you know, just make sure this is nice and clean. You never know when you've got a cat if he's or she, our cat is female, has jumped on the side and walked across everything. Although we haven't seen her, you only have to turn your back for two minutes. And we're preparing food, it's better to be safe than sorry. Sorry, it's very loud. No, you're doing good. Uh, I don't really have enough. This is not going to dry immediately, you know that. No, no, just put it on the draining board. Okay, keep scrubbing it. All over. I need some more. No, no, use this. A sponge? Yeah, because look, it does more of a surface area. Quicker. Okay. Wait, look, I'm going to the sponge. Read the sponge. With the sponge. Okay. Now. I think and... this is going to flood. Because I can't even do it. Huh? You can turn it off and on, right? Okay, rinse that one off. I think you've done that one. There's no more dirt on there, is there? Uh, yeah, it's a little. Hot. No, it's not very hot. Oh, they missed a bit there. Okay, now do the other one. All over. All over. All over. Okay, I need to get the flour. That's dry now. Need to put some flour down on it so the bread doesn't stick to it. It's a wet sponge. That's going to be a pain to clean off later, but it's better than trying to clean, than trying to clean some the bread off of there. I added a little bit because I knew we were making this into small bread rolls, so I added a little bit of extra oil to this to make it more pliable. Oops. Ah, there we go. Gotta get the mixer out of it. Ah, there we are. Okay. Now, let's get this all rolled in flour so it's uh, not so sticky. Okay, now I need to make this into very small rolls. To do that, I'm gonna pinch it in half. Mm. 
There's maybe too much bread here to do the mini rolls with. Got to pinch yeah, it. In. So some of it should be. Pinch it in the half bottles? again. Like real bottles? No, like maybe. Tiny baby bottles. Maybe we'll make some bread rolls of it. Because if you want to make very small bread rolls, we're going to need very thin length of bread. Are we thin enough yet? No, we're not thin enough yet. Gonna have to cut it in half again to get it thin enough. Seriously, it's also rising as I'm manipulating it. Whoops. See, if I don't roll it out like this. There we go. And there we go. Now that I've got my first lot that I can... Oh, there's so much air in this. How much air? Okay, um, do you want to dry those up with a tea towel? We're finished with that one. Rinse it off and put it on the draining board and then dry them up with a tea towel. Off. Yep, turn the tap on and then rinse it off. Okay. And I think... We've got like our first bit that I can make bread rolls out of. Yeah, making very small bread rolls is tricky because normally bread rolls, especially when making long rolls. See, there we go. That's about. That's two lots. What can go wrong here? Well, a lot can probably go wrong. Max, yeah, just you've done it now. You've rinsed it. Fine, that's great. Pick the other one up out the sink and go and dry them with the tea towel. Which one? The tea towels on the radiators over there. The <laughs> white one. Go on then. Put them on the table. Okay. White one. <laughs> See, that's not too bad. Just got to continue to work it out. Get it long enough. Maybe get a bit more flour. Stop them sticking together. Right. There's lots of air trapping in these. So we need to, like, the equivalent of um, knocking out and pushing the air out so as it's going to make a nice even bread roll. There's some big, because of the way I've been shaping it, there's some big air bubbles building up in there. That's not going to do very well when we try and. Um, Right, I think we're going to have enough mini rolls from just these three pieces. Max, have a look. Yeah. Okay, now bring those over, the two things over. Okay. I'm going to start cutting these up into mini roll shapes. They're not fully dry. Hmm? They're not fully dry. Though. Well, they're not. Not, in, not enough. Put them there, one they're, on top of the other. They're dry, they're dry enough to put bread on and sausages. But they're not dry. Well, we don't need to put the sausages on because we can cook the sausages in the air fryer. But they're not dry enough to put sausages on. Okay, so I reckon we need mini rolls about that length. What do you reckon? Yeah. So about... Actually smaller. About an inch and a half, four, four centimetres should be about right. No, because... There we go. Oh. What do you reckon to that, Max? Is that any good? Yeah, it's good. I was going to say smaller. That's small enough. Now, what I'm going to need to do is now, I'm going to have to shape each of them and roll them in some flour and put them on the baking tray. So... This is going to take a while. Yeah, we should pause the video. I will pause the video whilst I do this. Yeah, you're right. Okay, our first one's done. And this is now going to go in preparation ready to the oven. Whilst I use the other lump of uh, dough there and make another one. And here they are ready to go in the oven. So I'm just going to put them in now. And we'll see them when they come out and we start making the little rolls. So this is what they look like in the oven. And as you can see, they're doing quite well. Um beginning to rise a little bit they've been in for about two minutes and because these bread rolls are so small i'm thinking they're going to take between five and seven minutes now normal bread roll 
about the size of the other ones we got in there would probably take somewhere around maybe 10 to 15 minutes but because of their size I'm literally thinking they're going to be ready in five to five to seven so we're just going to keep an eye on them play them by eye basically no plans no timers just the way it goes well here we are they look ready so I guess what it is, it's time to open, take them out, and leave them to rest for a little while before we can cut them open. Oh wow, they look good, don't they, Max? Let's take them out. Good. Yummy, 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 look mm. at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do I just close the door? Okay, they're out of the oven now. Um, there's not really a good way to test mini rolls, I guess. They're passing the same test that a normal bread roll does. That's you tap them on the bottom and they sound hollow. That's the only way to test them really. Yeah, but I just farted. Well, that was unnecessary. Okay, we'll be back in a minute when we, uh, when these have cooled down to cut them in half. Okay, here we are. You go on the left and I'll go on the right. Do I take this knife? Yeah, it's just a steak <laughs> knife. You shouldn't be able to cut yourself with it. We cut these open a little bit. Like this? Yeah. Oh, see they cooked inside. There we go. Open it up. And this is very cooked. Uh, these are already cooked, you see. Put them inside. And, you cook, and there you go, we've got a little mini sausage roll. Put some ketchup on it. This should be the... It's there we go, sausage. not a mini sausage roll, I mean a mini hot dog. I'm going to try this one. Mmm, that's really yummy. Got some ketchup on you. Mmm. It's like a one pound hot dog and a 500 pound bun. It's like a 500 pound hot dog and a one pound bun. Even if it's really yummy. It's like you could make this for a party, I guess. It's a lot of work though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just pull the camera up. Is it yummy when you're tasting it? Mm-hmm. There you go. So you can see Max eating it. There he is. Say hello. Hello. Okay, let's look back at the food. All right, don't sit there. Come around to the side. You can eat it here. Right, well, I think we've reviewed these enough. They did come out really well. The hard part was the mini, the mini rolls, really. Ooh. I think they come out really yummy. Mmm. I'm gonna make one more and then show it right up to the camera. Mmm. Mm. These are yummy. And that's what they look like. Okay. Did I do this wrong? No, it's just it you didn't. Caving in. It's just caved in. They don't stick at all. <laughs> That's what it looks like with the ketchup on. Pretty cool. Mm. Perfect. Now it's like it's in a little hot dog. Hot dog bun. Mm. Um, yummy. These are really yummy. Thanks for watching. Bye.